Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mo's and Mower Man. Hope you're doing well. In today's video, um, I've got somebody got in contact with me. They bought a lawnmower off me a while back and they said the lawnmower needs a bit of a service. And also, I think one of the wheels is not driving, I think is what he said. This is a, an inhale um, which is produced uh, or, or outletted by Wix's. And I have come across this problem before with these, um, these lawnmowers where the, the drive wheels stop working and generally it's because the wheels do wear uh, uh, quite a bit. I have fixed a couple in my time, um, but we'll see what's wrong with this one here. From what I understand, it's a, as you look at the back of the machine, it's the left hand back wheel is not running, so I'm not quite sure. We'll have a little look at it anyway. Um, hopefully get this lawnmower up and running. If not, I think I may have uh, some spares for one, I think, because it is quite a common problem with those. The gearing goes on the, on the plastic bit on the wheel. But before we get down and dirty, got myself a parcel, so can't wait to open this one up. I know who it's from, I've already, I've already opened it, and the name of the person is, uh, is on here. So the first thing I've got, let me get this out. I'm quite looking forward to this, been looking forward to it for a little while. First thing I've got is an Echo an Echo multifunctionable headwear. Must be to cover my hair up. So we've got an Echo, and that, that's a little a little uh, teaser for those who know who it is, because this person is a, is an Echo dealer. Uh, you, you, it's got lots of stuff you can do with it. You can turn it into a, a sweatband, a snood, uh, uh, a, a pirate, um, a beanie hat, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, all this is is a is a um, a mask effectively, or a snood. You put it on your bonnet, and you can have it as a sort of a, a bandanary sort of thing, or you can put it down over your bonnet like that. Yeah, I know that's better already. I know. Don't take, take the piss. You can have it as a mask as well. Bring it down. Have it as a mask. You can have it as a snood over the top of your head, balaclava, all that sort of stuff. So I've got one of those. That's good. That keep the old sweat from dribbling down my head because I haven't got no hair to catch it. So I've got an Echo um, uh, multifunctional tool, and I've also got, um, I don't know, I haven't seen many of these about, um, Chicanic, work like a girl, it says. There's um, my good friend Bree um, and uh, Mel Mucker Ron. Thank you very much indeed for that. I've got myself a nice Chicanic sticker. I've got two of those. Um, so I'll put one on the old wall of shame in a minute, and I've got a double. But check me out. I've got myself, and it's in the mixed mower size as well. Perfect size, look at that Brie, absolutely banging. Uh, Chicanic, work like a girl t-shirt as well. Um, it comes in the um, in the mixed mower size of uh, large with uh, free kisses. Thank you very much indeed for that. Um, but the American sizes do come up big anyway, so I think she's ordered the right size. Because they do actually, this has come up as a 2XL, so that's, that's absolutely right. A uh, 2XL um, in America is, um, is the right size. So there you go. Um, so I've got myself a Chicanic Work Like A Girl t-shirt as well, which I shall wear with absolute pride. Uh, if you haven't um, got Chicanic yet, go and check her out. Um, she's been on a little while, and uh, but her channel's gone ba-twang, shot off. Um, overtook everyone. She's doing really, really well, and good on you as well. Um, she does some brilliant how-to videos and uh, all that sort of stuff, and it is just really basic videos, straight to the point, no mucking about. Let's just get the job done, move on with my day, and uh, what have you. So go and check Brie out over at Chicanic. Um, she's a fantastic person. She does also visit my live streams as well. Uh, she's just a good community person as well, and, uh, and her husband, uh, partner, um, Ron, is a real good guy. He's, uh, he plays in a band with, with Chicanic, and um, he uh, the, the sort of big joke about red feather boas and what have you, which, which, which if you watch the live streams, you'll know all about that. So thank you very much, Brie, over at Chicanic. Work like a girl, absolutely brilliant. Thanks for that, much appreciated as always. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mo's, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell. No Riley boy. Um, that way you'll be told one I've done a video or two of them on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's check out this little inhale lawnmower, which has a drive problem, and apparently it's in for a bit of a service. Right, workshop's a bit of a mess at the moment because I've just done that restore on that Honda Izzy and um, I've got stuff everywhere. So first things first, most important thing to do is to put Chicanic's um, sticker on. I'm looking for a little tiny spot to put a, 
maybe at the top there, that guy, by Hayes here, let's put you just there, look, there you go. That'll fit in there, won't it? Next to the wall, bro. That'll do ya. There you go, Chicanic, on the wall of shame. So what we're doing today is this little cookie just here. It's a little um, uh, inhale, which is what, as I say, is, I think that's German. Um, and uh, it's in for back wheel issue on, I think it's this wheel is the one that's mucking about. Um, it's got one of your Chinesium engines on top. Um, they sell for around about 250 pound, 270 pound in wixes, something like that. They are good sellers. They don't rust too well either. Uh, they don't rust a lot. Uh, the bags always fall apart, or I might have noticed, but it's, it's always a drive issue with these. Always, always, always. And what I tend to do with these is disconnect the drive and turn them into a push mower. It's easier, it's just less hassle. Uh, because there's not a lot of play between the wheel and the cog. That's, that, that's what I found with these. Anyway, enough of me gabbling on. Let's uh, fire it up. Put you back on your perch, you guys. There you go. Have some of that. And let's just uh, let's run it and see what happens. Uh, on the choke. Pull the cord. Yeah. So it's only this back wheel that's driving. See that? So this wheel ain't doing nada. Let's get it up on the bench, have a look, look, see the reason why. I'm pretty much know the reason why I think. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. It could be I have to order a new set of wheels for it which is going to be a bit of a cost for a bloke. Um, he, may, he may decide then just to turn it into a push. We shall see. But uh, until we put it up on a bench, we won't know anymore. Right, there you go. That's all you guys all set up. Um, I'm going to be wanting a few bits and pieces, that's for certainty. And I need my impact. That's what I'm going to need. Let's grab that. Um, so, this is a wheel that's causing problems and it's just not driving. Uh, the other wheel is gripping, lovely, and driving the machine, but it's a bit like a one-legged duck going around in circles. So just remove the, the wheel trim with a, a flat-headed driver, and then you want to sock it in there, 12 mil or thereabouts. And the 12 mil, of course, is already out somewhere. There it is. Let's put that reducer back before I lose that. That's it, right. So 12 mil in here. And we get straight to the root cause. Left hand thread. I want something just to jack that up just so I can, uh, just so I can get underneath a said machine. Anything to do, I've got an old Quocast fuel tank there, that'll do it. Just to, just to prop it up a touch, just so, just so it floats, that's all. Right, remove There's a little washer there. Oh, I don't want to come off. So most of it, this is one I sold, but if this would have come from a, um, well, no, this would have come from a, um, a recycling center. So somebody's already been, we had, we've had a fiddle fairy in. A fiddle fairy has been in because we've got a piece of what looks like copper, copper pipe. Let's have a, let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. Got a bit of copper pipe on there. Have you ever seen that before? I don't belong there, do it. Look at that. Someone, someone's put a bit of a spacer on there. So the reason that these go, these are quite common, is um, the teeth on here go, which this one, yeah, they're starting to go on the hit on here. They're all they're all a little bit chewed up, as you can see around the edge. That's why they go. But the, the main part of this bushing goes inside. And there's too much slack on there. We've also got a 
what looks like a bearing behind, which is not doing anything at all. So I'm wondering if I can't push that, whatever that is there, push that down a bit so that the wheel, I think all it is is a wheel is just not making enough contact. I think that's all it is, that wheel is not going down enough onto that gearing. The gear itself is okay. But yeah, we've got this, this little bracketry here. And that's all, that all looks way bigger than what it needs to be. So what I do have, before we start mucking about, I do actually have a spare mower up uh, in the garden with the same machine as this. And I think the engine is, uh, is not good or the gearbox has gone one or the other. Uh, so what I may do, I may try and find another wheel for this to see if putting a new wheel fixes the issue. Um, I need to get that off really. See what's occurring with that because there's a bit here that looks like it's broken off of that wheel trim. So let me go up into the, into the um, garden and I'm gonna take the wheel off the other one I've got to see if I can't marry uh, that one onto there. They should pretty much fit, they're, they're pretty much same, samey samey and hopefully um, we, can, we can figure that out. So yeah, give us two minutes to find another wheel and I'll be back to you in two ticks. Right, so we're back, um, got a wheel here and as you can see, there's a bearing on here, uh, that's shot. Um, and the difference in the two is night and day, uh, thickness wise. So that, that bearing should be in there. The sort of bearing's actually collapsed and that wheel's actually shot. So I have a spare wheel here. The problem is, is getting this little copper pipe off, whatever someone's put on there, and that bearing's all collapsed. So that's what I've got to do. Um, maybe a little pair of Nipex snips in there might, might just retrieve I need to try and get some of this, some of this shaft up. That's what I need to do. Uh, I might get a flat-headed driver and a hammer and just try and get that little tiny, it looks like a brass, a water connection pipe on there. That's what it looks like. I'll do them fredsy. Let's try and get a, something else. Let's use a pair of grips. Try and spin that if I can. Yeah, that spins, okay. And drag that back. There it goes, that's coming. I don't damage any threads I make. Oh, come on, there it goes. Yeah, that's a bit of 15 mil uh, straight pipe extension doodad someone's put on there, that's good. Um, so this will be a plastic bearing bushing and that would have probably fitted in there back in the day. Something like that. And see how loose that is. That goes in there like, like that, you see. And that's come adrift. Look at the play there, let's see. Look at that play, it's never gonna do anything. So that's why that's failed. So I'm now hoping that this one Bearing's good both sides. We've actually upgraded it to metal bearings, look, which is a good idea. Is that going to fit on there? Oh, it only do. Ha <laughs> ha! No wobble. <laughs> We're on a winner. Look at that. That's all right. Now, if that works, oh my god, if that works, do you know what? I'll be as happy as punch if that works. I know I'm not as quick as, um, as, uh, the Williams team doing tire changes, I get that, right? But if that works, I'll be as happy as Larry. That's what my old mate Tell says. He's the one with wonky teeth. Let's grab a, let's grab a, uh, my, nut, uh, my nut driver. Put that on. Oh, this could be good. Right, uh, right hand, left hand Fred. That goes on there. Look at that. That looks all right. Let's engage the old drive handle. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna catch or not. We'll find out in a minute if that's gonna catch. Um, that'd be great if not. There's only one way to find out. Take it outside, have a look, right? 
So let's take it outside, see what happens now, see if that will actually drive, and if it does, then I'll give, I'll give the bloke the option of changing the other wheel as well. So we've got a new set of wheels. And what I might have to do, there might be, thinking about it, it might be a different size gear on here if that's on my donor machine. So we have to, might have to check that, a bit of jiggery pokery, but let's take it outside, see if that will actually drive. If it does, then I'll change the other wheel over. Um, I don't know, will that, will that fit on there? That's that the same? They're all pretty, yeah. Oh, well, they're gone or not? I don't know it's gonna go on. Yeah, uh, it go on. No, I don't, I don't fit no more. They change the design on that, you know. That's what they've done. Every year, change the design. Muck with you. So, um, let's give that a go, see what happens now, and uh, I'll meet you outside in two ticks. Right, let's grab it off the old, off the old uh, table. I'm gonna open that other door up, just, just for ease of access. Just so I can swing the lawnmower around. That's a bit better. Right, let's have it off the old bench then. If it works, I'll be, I will really, I will be shocked if it works, because they do change the design every year. It's just what they do. In fact, the other, the other mower I've got here, one of the terminal engine, that's actually, that's actually better conditioned deck. Um, what are you there? Right, let's see what happens. That wheel looks, looks a, bit more, a bit more straighter. Let's see, right, uh, on a choke. Will it drive or not? No. Right, so it's not. And the reason it's got to be is that that gear might be a different size. So what I might have to do is take the gearing off of the other one, compare the size, it might be a slightly wider gear, and then we'll go back. So back on the bench, take two. Right, so what I've done is, I've took the gear off of this one, here it is here, I've taken the gear off of the other one as well to see if there's any differences in the two. And there's not, there's no difference at all bar about three or four mil. But I have got this is slightly different here on this one. I've got a little washer behind here. Do the teeth have a teeth different sizes? No, they all look the same. So on the other machine, all I have is a little tiny washer. Um, someone's put a, a big washer here before. We've got a little tiny pin, so I'll check the size of the drive pins. They look a bit the same. I'm going to put the original one in. Come off a donor machine. Sorry, one come off a donor machine. And I'm going to put that one in. Let's just try that with that one. Right. So I'm noticing a bit of slippage on here. So that might be a bit worn on the inside. So let's put that one in. That seems to be doing a better job. And then a circlip. We'll put that on. Look at the design flaw on this. Look, look, look at the play on that on that tooth. Look at it. So now I'm gonna put this wheel back on. So technically, the only difference is, uh, is is this plastic guard here, which I don't think has anything to do with it. But we can change that as well if need be. But it does sit all the way in. It does tend to catch that. So let's put that on again now then, and then we'll try that. So it might be actually not so much the, uh, the wheel, but also the, um, this gearing may, may have been uh, taken down as well, possibly. Right, back outside again, um, and, we, and we get to it. Now, if, if it's a question of um, this doesn't cure it, that wheel does seem more solid. Um, but we need, it to, we need it to drive. Um, then uh, I might have to run a bloke, bloke, I'm saying I need to get either new wheels, new gears, or convert to a push. But we should see, you know, we're, we're here to try these things first. Let's not give up before we, uh, before we give up. But that seems to be a bit better there. Let's um, see what that one does now and see if that improves it anymore. All right, take two then. Let's get it off the old bench. And we'll try again. 
be nice. I don't think it really needs a service. It might just want a new plug in there and just a tidy up, but I don't think it actually wants a service, guys. It seems to run all right. Let's see what that does, if that makes any difference at all. The wheel does seem to be a bit more truer than what it was uh, originally. Let's try that one now. See what we get this time. Aha! Says it's spinning. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah. So last time I put uh, I engaged the gear of a drive and I could stop that with my foot. But look. So what I'm now going to do is do the same to the other side. I'm going to put um, the other wheel on, so, so, they're, so they're the same. So I have new, two new back wheels, so that wheel is slightly on the, on the screw with as well. So back on the bench, I'll take the other wheel off of the other um, mower. Uh, that one then can be scrapped out and uh, we're good to go. It's a shame because this, that deck's better than this deck. But I might just keep that and I might try and order some new wheels for that and some new gears for that. We'll see how we get on. So back onto the bench, do the other side. Right, so now I've got the, uh, the other wheel off a donor machine. We're now going to take this wheel trim off because it, look, at, look at the play, look. Look at the play on there. They don't give you a lot. And they, are, they are improving as they go, but um, they don't give you a lot. Now, hang on, you can get right here. Because one of these gears is what? Well, that's the one off of. Um, no. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's the original one. I can't remember now. So you should pay attention, Mick, when you're at school. I think it's that one. Yeah. Um, so this one here, uh, the left hand thread, the other side, I think these are normal threads. This side. Yeah. Left hand thread, the other side, normal thread, this side. Because the bolt was all the way through. Slide that off. Even so, see that on there, look, look at the play. Look at the play on there, look. Look at the play there, let me show you. Let me show you the play, look. This is why they fail. Look at the play. In there. And as soon as that wheel tips out slightly, then you stand, you then stand no chance of getting it fixed because uh, there's too much play, so that's no good. So we get rid of that. They're uh, redundant. I've got, uh, I'm gonna use the other gear cog um, off the other machine as well, because it worked on the other one. I'll take that one out. That's just full of plastic in there too and dirt and what have you. So take that one out. And we're gonna put that one in. A bit of dirt just behind there. Get rid of that. That one can go in. Yeah, that's good. Circle it back on. A uh, little washer on there, isn't there, a little washer, yeah. Let's just give that one a little tiny clean. See all that dirt there, let's see that. That makes all the difference, people. That's just grass in there. So I'm gonna get my pick. Otherwise it'd be coming back in about a week and he said, oh, you know, drive your fix, it don't work no more. That's because all this dirt in here, look, just accumulates inside this gear cog. So let's just clean that up. I'll be back when I do this in two to Let me get it cleaned up. It's going to take a little while to do this because it's quite, it's quite in there. So let me get it cleaned up. I'll be back to you in two ticks. Right, that's that gear now cleaned up a bit better than what it was. It was a bit, uh, it was a bit just a compacted with grass and stuff in there. I got most of it out. Give it a bit of a carburetor clean as well. Uh, so that's a bit, bit better. Um, so that gear can now go on. That's catching nice. But look at the play. Look, look, look at the play they give you. You'd think that gear would be right out here, wouldn't you? Right out there. But they, they, they do design these machines to fail. It's as simple as that. That gear should be right on the threshold of that there. And there's about three or four mil, or four or five mils play there. They do that on purpose. They do it on purpose so that your machine will actually fail. And they use cheap circlips that don't even hold a, hold a, a spring 
That one's no good. Let's put the other one on. That's better. All right, that's that one on. Let's have a look inside here. Bit of grass, but not too bad, not too shabby. That's okay. So let's try and fit that one. We've got a bearing on it yet. So we upgraded, so, so they knew they had a design fault because they put metal bearings in. Tell me how it's gonna fit. There it goes, all right. Well, that's on. Let's put a nut on there. So apart from that, it's just be a standard little service, blade sharp and balanced. I don't think it wants too much to be fair. Oh, that's gone tight. I don't think it wants too much there, to be fair. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I have got a washer here. That's just gripped. Where did that washer go, people? It could have gone on there to allow that to spin. But I don't want to go onto there, so that must go. Come on. Come on, pop it. I wonder if that went on there like that. I think it did. I don't recall it being washed on the other one. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. No, that's gone tight. So I'm going to take that washer off. That's better. Oh, that's not a nylon locker either. Just want to kiss that down. I don't want to go down too hard, really. I do, we'll try that, see how that goes. As long as that nut don't undo, that's, a, 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 that's the main thing. As long as that nut doesn't undo. Right. Um, right, back outside. And we'll go for take number take number three. And hopefully now we now fix this, this, this drive issue on this mower. Well, hopefully third and final time for the wheel repair and then I can just put a new spark plug in it sharpen blade and balance check the air filter check your it's in for a bit of a mini service now we did say that the grass bag's a bit a bit a bit school with you know it's got a few holes in it um the grass bag I got here is actually in better condition so I may just say for an extra x amount of pounds do you want to change grass bags right so the wheel runs Make sure that nut isn't spinning. No, it's not. Right, so now we're after both wheels to spin. That's the idea. Let's see what happens now. Because there was no problem with this side originally. <laughs> She's only away. We've only gone and fixed it. So there you go. If you've got a Wix's lawnmower, inhale, and the, um, the drives don't work, all you've got to do is um, upgrade the wheels to the newer ones with the metal bearings. And away you go. Bish, bash, bosh. Okay, so there you go. Uh, a good little fix if you've got the spares in. If you didn't have the spares in, I think them wheels are around about 20 quid each, 25 quid each, something like that. And you possibly want the newer gear as well, because for some reason that gear didn't work on the, uh, on the, on the new wheel when, when I had the old gear. On there so you might do a bit of changing about there but it's just a design flaw it's a design flaw in the enhel mower shame on you um but it's what they do you know and you know they've noticed there's a design flaw next year they come out with metal bearings so they do know that, that that's the issue but i i have seen them for many a year now with with that back wheel issue where the um the wheel collapses on the axle and as soon as it tips over those gears just can't grip so it is a very very common fault indeed and it does put me off buying those inhales or 
the sneaky little webs that come under the same design. So just keep an eye out for them. If they've got the same deck, it's the same drive system. So I now have another engine out there on a better deck with the same issue. But I do know I've got two or three webs inside my store. One of those has got a, a terminal engine on it. So I may even take the wheels off of that and try and get that one to run perpendicular. So if it does, I'm still quids in. I've still got plenty of spare machines that I can make one good one out of, so I'm happy with that. And that gentleman bought his lawnmower in just yesterday and asked if he can have it done in your own time, Mick, no rush. Um, he just cut his lawn, so he's happy. Um, but he said that if I can get it back as soon as possible, that'd be all right, you know, so that's good. So it's done within a day. Um, and I had the spare parts in the shop, um, secondhand parts, which is brilliant. So lots of people knock me because I, I use secondhand parts, but do you know what? Getting parts at the moment, it ain't easy, sister. It ain't easy at all. It's hard work getting spare parts at the moment. That lawnmower will now go on to have a, he said, he said, have a look at it is what he said, not actually a service. So it'll have a blade sharpen and bounce if it needs it. I'll inspect the plug, top the oil up, all that sort of stuff. Give it a bit of a tidy and then bung it out the door. Give him a text, say your lawnmower is ready for collection, sir. Uh, so that'd be good. I'm happy with that. If you enjoyed this little episode of Mixed Mowers and Mower Man, then whack the old subscribe um, button. Give your bell a whack as well. Give us a thumbs up and leave any comments down below what you think with regards to the um, design flaw. Is it a design flaw in there? You know, or what would you do? Or how do you work around it as well? And also, what was that bit of 15 mil um, copper pipe doing in there as well? Give, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about it as well. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take it easy.